There are seven different types of magnesium that are very important, and we're going to cover each and every magnesium possible today in this video. I'm going to tell you exactly what they are, what they're good for, what the average doses would be to help benefit you. Now, as a background, magnesium, there's over 300 functions of the body that are involved that require magnesium. So magnesium is an electrolyte as well as a mineral that is found in dark leafy green vegetables. And if we're not eating enough of these vegetables, then we're all of us are deficient in magnesium. And magnesium is necessary for all these functions. And because there's so many, it basically helps everything. So if you supplement with magnesium or eat a lot of vegetables, it helps a multitude of problems. Sleep issues, muscle issues, heart issues, atrial fibrillation, blood pressure, to name just a short amount. So let's cover the seven different types of magnesium and what they have been shown in research to be good for. Number one, Magnesium chelate. This type of magnesium has been most beneficial for muscle function, muscle building, and muscle recovery. So in particular, our heart, as well as our skeletal muscles, magnesium chelate is the best magnesium that's been shown from research to be something that is useful. Giving recommendations as to the amount of magnesium a person should take is difficult because some people are four foot two and weigh only a hundred pounds and other people are six foot seven and weigh 300 pounds. Of course, the person who's bigger is going to require more magnesium. An active person, such as a cyclist who uses their heart and skeletal muscles a lot, is different than a bodybuilder. As a general rule though, around three to four hundred milligrams of magnesium is enough to notice a difference. Some people will require less and some people will require more. Number two, magnesium citrate. Magnesium citrate supports metabolic health. In fact, there are studies that show that for even overweight individuals, magnesium citrate can help blood vessel health. This magnesium is very beneficial because it helps with digestion. So if a person has, for example, constipation, magnesium citrate can actually help with that. The third, magnesium biglycinate. This is the best magnesium for overall muscle function, particularly our heart, as well as our skeletal muscles, when it comes to relaxing these types of structures in our body. Number four, magnesium malate. Some people believe that this is the most bioavailable type of magnesium. It is found naturally in fruits, which when you take magnesium malate, it's interesting because it does have a tart flavor to it. Number five, magnesium sucrosomial. Now this form of magnesium is very well absorbed and it helps you produce energy. It also supports the immune system and bone health. Number six, magnesium tarate. This type of magnesium has been used in research studies to show benefits for the heart. It's a very vasculoprotective nutrient. The seventh and final form of magnesium, magnesium orotate. Magnesium orotate is best for the heart and metabolic syndrome. In addition to metabolic syndrome, athletes will use this type of magnesium for recovery, performance, and overall health. These are the most common forms of magnesium found. And depending on where you're watching this YouTube video, some countries have more availability for different types of magnesium. So if I've mentioned a magnesium and you're having a hard time finding it in your country, then you may try another form of magnesium. There's a couple reasons why. Number one is regardless of what type of magnesium you're getting, it's always magnesium combined with something. Any type of chemical will have two parts to it. Magnesium this, magnesium that, magnesium here. But you're always still getting magnesium. So of all the different types of magnesium that I mentioned, if you can't find one, then get a different one, but you're still getting magnesium. The second issue is that you're using magnesium as a way to improve your health. You're not taking magnesium like a drug, 
you're taking magnesium to improve your overall health. Like I mentioned in the beginning, there's over 300 functions in, their, in our body that requires magnesium. Doing this to improve your health and you're looking for results in terms of lower blood pressure, better sleep, uh, better muscle function, healthier arteries. It's not like a drug that does one thing and then has all these terrible side effects. We're talking about a nutritional supplement or a mineral inside food that helps our overall health. And this of course begs the question, if all these magnesiums that I've mentioned are good for you, why not take them all? And you're certainly free to take all of them. That's okay. Now there are supplement companies such as Bioptimizers that make a product called Magnesium Breakthrough and that has all the different types of magnesium in it with the proper dosage. The benefit of doing this is that you get all these benefits in one or two tablets. It's that simple. So rather than going and buying each individual one, you can just buy one product that has it all. So to me it seems like a no-brainer. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to look at that one, but you're free to look at any one that you want. But regardless of what you do, being deficient in magnesium is, I mean it's a no-brainer. It simply is bad. Having enough magnesium it's a no-brainer. It's simply good. So why would you not eat all the foods necessary to supply your body with all the nutrients that you need to thrive when it comes to health? The long answer is because people are on so many different diets and once you've gotten on a diet that restricts certain foods then you realize there's a reason why you're developing all these problems on some of these extreme diets because you're restricting foods that have the very nutrients that we need to be healthy. Sure, your scale is going down or the weight on the scale is going down, but you're becoming more unhealthy. So always focus on nutrient-dense foods that include vegetables that have a lot of magnesium in it. And if you're not getting that, simply take supplements to boost that amount. And the only thing that's going to improve is your health. So, did you eat your vegetables today? No. Why not? I'm fasting right now, and so when I eat, I eat meat. Well, how do you get your B vitamins and minerals and fibers and carbs? Aren't carbs bad? What about magnesium? Magnesium? There are over 300 functions in the body that magnesium helps with. It helps you sleep, it regulates blood pressure, helps muscles function, and keeps you calm. Go on. If you're not getting enough, you could jeopardize your health. Well, is there a supplement that I can take? Absolutely, there's Magnesium Breakthrough. Seven different types of magnesium, easily absorbed, easy to take, easy to swallow, helps your body, and it's awesome. Link down below. That sounds awesome. I just clicked the link, and I just purchased it. Thanks, dude.